Hi, I'm Kara Donatelli, Executive Director of the Samson Arts Council. Today's Local Artist Spotlight features four African-American artists from Sampson and Duplin counties. Their artwork is on display in the Victor R. Small House Gallery in Clinton, February 3rd through March 10th, and their show is titled Sharing Our Gifts in Recognition of Black History Month. Our featured artists are Sheila Judge Hall, Robert Hall, Reverend Bobby L. Simmons Sr., and Robert Taylor. We are honored to partner with the Clinton Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Rho Omega Omega Chapter for this event. I'm here with Sheila Judge Hall, one of our featured artists. Sheila, it's so glad, we're so glad you're here and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, yes, I'm a native of Duplin County. Uh, while I was in Duplin County, uh, attending East Duplin High School, that's the first time as a senior I uh, got an art teacher and a light bulb went off. I was just delighted with art and decided this is what I want to do the rest of my life. And I was even fortunate enough to return to East Duplin to teach there for five years oh, nice. to teach art. That's fantastic. Uh, yes. Well, tell us a little bit. I know that um, you know you're you're an art teacher, have been an art teacher, and um, even a principal. And um, so, tell us the importance of arts education. Okay. Um, well, just like I said, art was the light bulb that went off for me to really start my career. Right. And so, when I became a teacher, I realized that art was great to use for a self-esteem builder. It often kept students engaged in school. I was often able to bring in students who uh, may have been considered at risk or not doing well in school and get them engaged in the art program or the art clubs and really get them to see the creative talents that they had and help them to feel better about themselves and nurture their talents through the arts. Right, fantastic. Well, I'm sure they appreciated all you did for them and inspiring them. And. Um, so now you live in Raleigh yes. and you have a studio there. So tell us about, um, you know, your style of artwork. It's so colorful and, um, and I know that you do some printing on fabric. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about your art. Okay, well, yes, um, my tagline is I add a little color to your life. <laughs> I, I love bold, bright color and patterns. Um, I like to paint about uh, life experiences. Uh, this particular painting uh, uh, called Strength of Our Roots was uh, in honor of breast cancer survivors nice. uh, in my mm -hmm. family and friends that I had. I have done other paintings that were uh, auctioned off for benefits for breast cancer. Nice. And uh, in this painting, the quilt represents our heritage and uh, pulling in the strength from our uh, you know, our ancestors and uh, our legacy, the people behind us also. And so, uh, and the, the roots that grow still sturdy by the river. So just nice. thinking about that, when you go through challenges like all of the breast cancer survivors had to go to, you pull from the strengths of your roots and your background. And so that, that's what this painting is about and the colorful quilts that my grandmother used to wrap us in, uh, the memories that came from that. Nice. Very nice. And, and so tell me, you're wearing a piece of your yes. art today. So tell me about um, how, how that whole printing process works. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I did uh, study textiles at East Carolina University while I was in art school, but I didn't really use it at first. I just enjoyed working with colors and painting. And then I was approached by a company that said, you know, your colors and your patterns would look wonderful in textiles. So I, I tried experimenting with that. And so now I do have a, a line of clothing and home decor where I take designs and patterns that I've uh, created and they're transformed into uh, textile pieces. Nice. Uh, and sometimes it's from portions of a painting or it may be a design I made exactly for textiles. And so all of that is on my website now. That's how I sell most of that. Very, uh -huh. very good. Yes. And so tell us, where is your um, studio located? Okay. Well, I, right now I have Probably. an in-home studio, but mm -hmm. I, it's called Color Speaks 
art studio nice. and I do uh, mobile art classes. So I go out into the community. I love working with the senior citizens. I, I go into uh, youth groups when I can or different uh, groups in the community that want to have um, I've even done team building for staff human development where sure. we go in and talk about the importance of what talent each person brings to the table. Oh, nice. And we do an yeah, art activity where they come on the culminates with a, a large piece of art that they can use in their workplace. And it really does help everyone see how, uh, you know, everybody brings a little piece of talent to the table and, and how wonderful it is when you work together. Right. I love that. Yes. I love that. Very good. Thank you. Well, we're so excited to have you in this show here at the Samson Arts Council's um, Victor R. Small House Gallery um, this month, which runs through March 10th. And so um, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today, talking about your art. You're so talented. Thank you. Thank you very much. Joining us now is artist Robert Hall. Robert is from the Delway community, and he's been drawing since he could hold a pencil. Robert, we're so excited to have you with us in this show here at the Victor R. Small House. Thank you for participating for Black History Month. And tell us a little bit about, um, I know you're a Renaissance man and you have lots of skills when it comes to art. You have done sculptures, you're a painter, you are a muralist, you've illustrated children's books. So tell me a little bit about some of those projects that stand out to you. Well, the first project that stands out to me was when uh, The Color Purple was shot here in North Carolina. I did the silhouettes for the movie Color Purple, and they use it for advertisement purposes. And the uh, second project that stood out to me was the one I did in Wilmington. I did a project for the United Negro College Fund, and it was uh, children sitting around the table with different races studying. And I had the Carlos cornflakes in the center of the table. And they hired me to do it, and they gave it to the president of the Carlos Corporation. Wow. And he came and flew on his jet to Wilmington, North Carolina, and they gave it to him as a gift. Oh, my goodness. That's and fantastic. The, thank you. And the third one was a mural I did in Garland, North Carolina, of the first officially named uh, PA, physician assistant. His mm -hmm. name was Henry Buddy Treadwell. He was a black guy. Mm -hmm. And his doctor that he worked under was Dr. Kennedy, Dr. Johnson. I'm sorry, Dr. Johnson from Garland. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the third project that stood out to me the most. Wow, mm -hmm. amazing. You do just amazing work. It's, it's, it's amazing to me that you have so many skills. Uh, you know, um, not all artists can do all of those things, paint and sculpt and, mm -hmm. um, you know, illustrate books. Um, tell me you have a great piece that's in the show that you sculpted out of plywood? Tell well, the, the piece is a couple of pieces I did that I um, carved, well, I did a relief carving right. on, a, on two pieces of plywood. The plywood is five eight inches thick and what I did, I used a jigsaw after I sketched the, the project out. I used the jigsaw to cut it out, and then I used miniature carving tools to carve it out. And uh, one particular piece, um, the Harriet Tugman piece, is uh, the uh, slaves that's going through the field, and Harriet Tugman is leading the crowd. And I used a little tiny nail to punch her little holes for the hair oh, and my goodness. to make the detail. And I even have the veins in Harriet Tugman's hand. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the painting on that is just, I mean, the shadows and, and all is just amazing as well. So you're super talented. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Well, tell us about this piece we have um, featured right here. Um, tell us about the subject and, okay. and how you got inspired to make this piece. That piece is, is uh, it's all on stretch canvas. And I did that one uh, quite a few years ago. And that's one of my favorite pieces. It's entitled Learning About Earning. 
And I promote arts in the schools and I travel around from time to time. And that particular piece I'll show to the children because uh, education is very important, but I wanted to show the children in particular to the uh, uh, younger ones that you don't have to have money to be successful. Uh, you see the children studying by lantern light, they can't afford electricity, and, and that's not stopping them from trying to get their education. And that's why I love that particular piece. And it, uh, it's, And is this painted in oil? It's done in oils. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. And actually, I, I sold it years ago to a, to a, a friend of mine. Uh -huh. And I had prints made of it. I did 500 prints, and I sold all 500 of them. Oh, and my goodness. the lady that I sold it to, I went back to buy it from her, and she wouldn't sell it back to me. She said she might put it in an art gallery. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a lot of people could see it. And recently she passed, and her son called me oh. and asked me if I wanted the piece I could have. It, right. it was two weeks before my birthday. Oh, nice. And, what a great birthday uh, so present. It, yeah, it went full 360 circle and came back to yeah. me. It's the piece oh, I thought awesome. about all these years. Oh, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. So great. I love the, I love the subject of that. They're all focusing in on what mm -hmm. they're doing, and it's amazing. And then I know that you, um, each year, well, has it been 30 years? You've been at the State Fair in Raleigh? and 36 the village, years. 36 years mm -hmm. at, at the Village of Yesteryear. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about that and how that, um, you know, I know you're very successful at that mm -hmm. event uh, mm -hmm. each year. So just tell us a little bit about, you know, when you're there, what, what happens in the Village of Yesteryear? Well, the... Um, First of all, when I, how I got into it really was a, a guy named Carl Huff. He saw me at the uh, River Fest in Wilmington right. and stopped by and tried to convince me to do that show. And I didn't want to do it because I thought about Rise and stuff, and I didn't think art would sell good there. And for about three years, he'd been talking to me about coming. So I finally came, fell in love with it, and I generated uh, some uh, customers from right. doing the State Fair. and. And I end up uh, falling in love with it. But I, um, I talk to probably several thousands of people every year right. personally. Right. And uh, great connections. There's great making connections, and mm -hmm. I, I meet friends there every year. But I haven't done it since 2019, since COVID came out. But right. hopefully, I'll do it this year. Yeah. But uh, I won Craftsman of the Year um, in 1987. Wow. And mm -hmm. You only win it once in that particular building, but I was the first black artist to ever win it. That is mm -hmm. fantastic. Good, great for you. Thank you. That's Thanks. fantastic. Well, we are so excited that you're in this show. We appreciate you sharing our talents Thanks. with us. And we're just honored to have you as, a, as an artist here in Sampson County. Well, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. us is Reverend Bobby L. Simmons, Sr. Bobby lives in Garland, and he is a retired art teacher in the public schools and also a pastor. <laughs> Bobby, it's great to have you here with us. We're so excited that you're in this show sharing mm -hmm. our gifts here at the Victor R. Small House uh, yeah. in recognition of Black History Month. So thank you so much for mm -hmm. sharing your talents with us. Tell me a little bit about, I know you're a pastor, mm -hmm. um, and tell me how your, how your faith inspires your art. Oh, my. Faith is, is, is something that we depend on Christ Jesus as Lord and Master and the beginning and the end, first and the last. And so when we look at our artwork, we begin somewhere on the page. That's right. And through that beginning, we add and we add until we see a, a compository uh, abstract or, or realism or surrealism in it. And we say, now what can I do to finish this picture? And so I guess that um, most artists starts at the beginning 
And then and when the end comes, they are either gratified or they are, <laughs> I said, I'm not going to show this one. <laughs> but that's, that's the way I look at it as, you know, for, well, I'm 71 and I'll be, well, 72. But uh, I would say from years apart, the beginning has always been the first or the last right. of the first. <laughs> yeah, I see. That's interesting. So we, we yeah. are, we are, we are uh, uh, adding that to uh, the artist and his faith. Uh, some are moved by faith, some are grow by faith, and some are lost, but not eternally. But mm-hmm. they are found by faith. All of it is the is 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 God's intermingling in our lives and and making us what He wants us to be. Right. Mm-hmm. Very good. And you are pastor now at which church? Uh, St. Thomas Ellis Creek in White Oak, North Carolina. Nice. Very good. Yes. I know they appreciate you very oh, much. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they do. To have an artist. As a pastor, I know that 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 probably makes for a very interesting. Oh, it makes yeah. a good show. <laughs> very good, <laughs> very good. Uh-huh. And I know that you, um, in your medium of art, um, you compare yourself to Romare Bearden, mm-hmm. um, and Romare Bearden used um, collage. Mm-hmm. And so, tell me um, about, let's say, about this piece here, mm-hmm. um, and how you were inspired um, to create this and the and the medium that you used. Well, the first of it is I messed the whole thing up. So I colored it black, um, colored it white, and I added all of these other colors in. Right. But um, trying to get the heads and the arms and the f- people moving and so forth, right. that took a lot of you know study on how do we do this, how do we do that. But um, in this work, you got to have a lot of people. We put a lot of people in it. And we had some going backwards and some coming forward. Right. We have color for people who may or may not have faith. And we got the ones who do have faith over to the right. And so we have, it's, the church is full of people who have faith and not have faith, going to have faith. Right. But then at the end, we, we don't know. Right. So that's where the darkness in the back and, and the... Uh, the shrine of the cross and all of that really should emphasize who we are. Right. You know. Amazing. Yeah. Now, I can see that there are different uh, medium in this. Did you, is it paint and... It's, it's, like, it's um, temporal paint. Pastel, maybe? Or, right. Uh-huh. Pastels. Mm-hmm. You got uh, oil and you have the uh, regular pastels that you use. This is regular pastels up here. And then mm-hmm. you have uh, the white. You have the char- uh, the oil pastels. And then in the faces, you have both. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, it gives it a lot of texture. I can see yeah. the texture yes. in the lines and, yes. and all. Um, and especially in those rooftops here. <laughs> in the faces of the people and... Well, you want to get an idea of oldness because right. I was thinking about the old church and how we used to go to church and church was it. But nowadays it's just a mingling, of, you know, outside and right. it's, it's not real as it all ought to be. Right. Um, oh. well, I love that. It's a beautiful piece. Thank you. And you have lots of beautiful pieces, and, <laughs> and we we um, encourage everybody to come out and see the show here um, at the Small House, which will run through March 10th. Yes. And I know you've been an art teacher here in Sampson County, mm-hmm. um, and you've taught in in other counties here yes. in North Carolina as well. But yes. tell me a little bit about you know when you taught, um, you know, school and 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 influencing the children. Well, you influence the children by the way you act, the way you talk, and where you're trying to lead them into. Right. Uh, so every every day is just like a working on a piece of art. Some don't want to do anything. You got to help them to do it. Right. By adding something different that they have not used before. Yeah. Uh, the geometric shapes are very good. 
uh, measuring things is, mm-hmm. is very good to get them occupied and say, hey, I'm doing this. What can I put it? And then you put it on the paper as a triangle, a square, and all of that. And it, it, it just say, they say, wow. It turns into something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> That's it amazing. does. It really Very does. good. Well, we appreciate all that you've done here in Sampson County for yeah. our students and, and with your art. And um, thank you again. Thank you. Great to have you. Thank you for having me. Our last featured artist is Robert Taylor. Robert lives in Clinton and he's a banker by profession, but he also loves to paint. Hey Robert, how are you? Hey Kara, I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you so much for sharing your talents with us in this show at the Small House. We are thrilled to have you. Thank you, it's it's nice um, to be invited. Yes, very good, very good. You're so talented (laughs) and I'm excited for you to tell us about your artwork. So. I know that um, you're a painter, and mm-hmm. tell us about what inspires you in your artwork. Well, I'm inspired by nature. You know, I love uh, landscapes, seascapes, cloudscapes. So those are things that you know inspire me the most. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I uh, relocated here to Sampson County uh, last year. You know, I was originally from Lumberton, but I relocated here and just really inspired by the scenery here. And so most of the artwork that I've done recently is you know, scenes from Sampson County and the Big Piney Grove community and, you know, some of the beaches in the area. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And he used beautiful, bright colors. So, um, and, and they're, it's, it's interesting because you have a lot of the cool colors, but then you also have the warm colors in there too. And so, and I guess that would come with nature as well, but, um, I notice a lot of the that sort of same, you know, like the purples and the and the blues right. and very very calming. Um, yeah, I mean that's what I want the picture to convey a sense of calm, peacefulness. Right. You know, when people look at them and just feel relaxed. And as far as this picture is concerned, you know, I went to a workshop. The, my first formal official workshop was in Raleigh uh, last year with an nice. artist by the name of Eric McCray. And so the class was colorful landscapes using colorful landscapes. So you know, that's kind of really. Mm-hmm you know, got that drive to really experiment with colors and, you know, try different color combinations and you know, just learning about the values and how you can you use value with different colors. They don't always have to be darks and lights. You you change that value, you know, based on all the colors you're using. So, That's right. So very that was the, the thing that I learned most from him. So Yeah, very good. That's awesome. And so you've been inspired by people in your life um, yes. with your art as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had a cousin when I was growing up. Her name was Gloria, Gloria Walker, and she was a painter. Uh, and my father, you know, was an artist in his own right. You know, he was a teacher, but, you know, his artistic skills were uh, at least amazing to me as a kid. I just remember uh, we had this parade in our community when I was a little kid, and he made me this uh, Tony the Tiger uh, costume out of paper oh, bags. Nice. And oh, it was nice. just It nice. was just a wonderful thing, you know, to, to, uh, just to see that and, uh, you know, watch him create that. So I think that's some of the, the spark to learn about art and do it more you know, I got from them, you know, initially. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's something about that when you're a child, because when I think back to being inspired myself Mm -hmm. in art, I can remember, you know, being at school and artists come in to perform Mm -hmm. and and like do a play or something. So it's amazing because several of the other artists Mm -hmm. have mentioned, you know, as a child, I, you know, that we all have kind of those memories um, of when we're young and how, how art inspired us being young. So. Yeah, yeah. My mom would buy the paint by number set, so those are the things that you know I really yeah. kind of learned from. But then she didn't like the oils, and so we switched, yeah. switched to watercolors, right? Which was, uh, right. Less messy, right? So, um, and do you use what is your medium here? Acrylics. So, I acrylic? use acrylics now. Yeah, mm-hmm. very good. Yeah. So yeah, yeah and acrylics are. I mean, how do you find acrylics? They they dry faster and they. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I so. like them, and that's the problem. I like is you know one the, the cleanup is great. Um, the fast drying, you know, helps you create other effects that you really can't get, at least to me, on, on, on oils. I mean, you can really you know, turn a picture around pretty quickly without having to wait for it to dry. But uh, right. 
but I wouldn't mind trying the oils again, you know, yeah. just to give it a try. Right. But, uh, exactly. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, well, you do a beautiful work with the acrylics. So I think you've kind of mastered that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I am so new to this. Yeah. Until oh, you're I doing a great job. working on it. Thank you. Yeah. I really, really appreciate yeah. that. It's, so it's fun. fun, though, because, you know, you, 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 with art, you're always learning, I think. Right. Um, you're, you're, you continue that, I think, throughout your life. So. Yeah, and, and you're just getting to meet the other artists today. It's, you know, it's just yeah. amazing viewing their works, hearing their stories. You know, you know yeah. this is you know, my first you know, up close and personal experience. You know, first show, you know, yeah. First show, yeah. Yeah, yes. very good. Yes. We're, we're so excited to, that you're uh, up and coming. We, we think you're up and coming. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate um, and that. And we're excited you're here in Sampson County. Okay, me too. And you have, do you have family that's oh, yeah, from yeah, the area? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Very um, good. My old family's in the Big Piney Grove area. Very good. So, um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're excited. Visit us to, yes, I will. Okay. I bet it's a beautiful landscape. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I we really appreciate you okay. participating in our show. Um, Robert is also a new board member for us here at the Samson Arts Council, so we're excited to have him on the board, okay. and um, also as one of our featured artists. So, thank okay. you so much. Oh, thank you we so much for it. the opportunity. I really appreciate it. We hope you have enjoyed our Artist Spotlight for the month of February in recognition of Black History Month. The Victor R. Small House Gallery is located at 709 College Street in downtown Clinton. Gallery hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., or by appointment by calling 910-596-2533. We would like to thank Star Communications for producing and broadcasting today's program. You may also view this broadcast online anytime on the Samson Arts Council's YouTube channel. This project was supported by the North Carolina Arts Council, a division of the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. For more information on upcoming events and classes, and to become a member of the Samson Arts Council, visit our website www.samsonarts.net. Thank you for tuning in today, and we appreciate your support of the arts in Sampson County.